So going back to our application, if you are using Maven, you can just run it by uh, um, uh, by command line like uh, Maven Spring Boot Run, okay. And but for me, I'm using IntelliJ, so let's keep it simple. Oh, sorry. Before that, I have as we are using Mapstruct, right? So Mapstruct wanna use this mapper uh, in order to like out of the box like uh, create our mapper. So in that order, I'm going to use the command line in order to compile it. Maven, um, let's just say like compile. Uh, let's just say Maven clean compile. So let's see. It has compiled. So now we can see here that we have our mapper working properly. Um, so now we just have to run our uh, application. Let's see here and then run. What's gonna happen, uh, happen is the fact that Spring Batch gonna um, create the tables for our job repository then we are going to uh, like uh, explore a little bit more about the job repository and we're gonna see what we have there so the application is running now so we have here a problem so we have here a problem Parsing error at line two. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. As we can see here, as we can see, uh, we are using like all this token is a one. So to fix it, let's just go back and separate it because it was expecting as, as the, 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 the error uh, said here like incorrect number of tokens found in record expected one actually six so uh, what's happened is that as i just created as a string as you can see so i'm just saying that okay i'm just using i just have one token so it's it was expecting six which is the right right so let's just put it one then two So like this, this is the correct way to specify your token. So this is how you have to do it. Okay. So now let's run our application in order to see if it works or not. So let's replace, okay, to keep it simple, let's replace the, the, the record from Java 17 into uh, like a normal uh, Java class, okay? So because the uh, Spring Batch, okay, the item reader uh, needs uh, maybe a default constructor or something like that. So in order to keep it simple, let's just make it, make our lives like uh, easy okay so I'm just gonna replace uh, replace oops replace yeah replace the comma with semicolon okay and then just adding here private 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 so maybe you 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 have not faced this error because you you were not using um the java uh, 17 records okay so later i'm just gonna uh, try to figure it out why i had uh, this error but maybe it's because of constructors so in that order let's just now once again compile okay our um our application and then uh, check if it works or not.
okay let's check if okay our Lombok is working uh, Mapstract is working so now uh, once again let's go run so now the application is running so let's go to our uh, sales uh, info uh, database okay and now let's check what we have here let's see if it's it's uh, um, it's inserting the data ah now now we have our batch processing working it's working it's inserting data into database as we can see okay so we can just maybe here okay from first one if we check in our um here in our um in our csv file okay the first one is this one okay the first record is this one so let's see if it match yes of course so it's working and uh, the next step is to explore the uh, job repository our application is still running okay so uh, let's just put it here uh, maybe let's just uh, log every single line that we are processing in order to to make it more like um how can i say like uh visual okay uh so here in our processor processor so here in our processor i'm gonna use uh <laughs> the log for j log for j height so and we are just going to print okay like processing the item and then we are going to log the item that we are processing now maybe to string um, yeah uh, data yes the data uh, Lombok uh, it adds already uh, the string so uh, yeah let's just here delete okay um, like let's just do this like um, uh, drop database sales info okay in order to delete all so now let's just create again once again database so now okay we have here our sales uh, without anything and let's go back run our application and take a look so let's go the application is is running now starting okay so now we can see uh, we are processing like our uh, um, data from file into database okay and let's take a look here at uh, sales uh, database so now let's check the rows as we can see we have all our data being persistent into database and something that's really good that we are going to do is to explore a little bit the job repository